Good afternoon, Pearl Stream 420 here. It's 4.36 p.m. on Saturday, October 14th, 2023. We have another celebrity passing that just happened. It was found out that Piper Lori had died at the age of 91 today. She was known for her roles in films such as The Hustler, Carrie, which of course won her Academy Award nomination, and Children of a Lesser God. She also earned a Primetime Emmy Award and a Golden Globe Award. She was known as Ka played Catherine Martell in the TV series Twin Peaks, but she was born as Rosetta Jacobs in Detroit, Michigan, as the younger of two children. Her maternal grandparents were Jewish immigrants from Poland, and her maternal grandparents were Jewish immigrants from Russia. According to her 2011 autobiography, Learning to Live Out Loud, in a one-bedroom walk-up on Tyler Street in Detroit, where the family had lived. The matter of fact, her parents provide her with weekly elocution lessons. She eventually landed minor roles at Universal Studios. Her mother and grandmother placed Lori's older sister in a sanitary for us while Lori was so to keep her company. Her career began in 1949. She signed a contract with Universal Studios and changed her screaming into Piper Lori, which she had used ever afterwards. Among the actors she met at Universal were James Best, Julie Adams, Tony Curtis, and Ron Cutson. Her breakout roles were Louise Oth, Ron Reagan. Who she dated a few times before his, he married Nancy Davis, and her odd biography, she claimed that she lost her virginity to him. Several other roles followed, like Francis Goes to the Racist, Son of Alibaba, and Ain't Misbehaving. She also appeared Twelfth Night, produced by Hallmark Hall of Fame, in Day of Wines Rose with Cliff, Cliff Robertson, presented by Playhouse 90 on October 2nd, 1958, and in Winter Set by Playhouse 90 in 1959. She she lured back into Hollywood off of the coast of Paul Newman the Hustler in 1961. She played Newman's girlfriend, Sarah Packer, in performance. She received a Kelly Award nomination for Best Actress. She and her husband, Joe Morgenstern, moved to New York in 1964 and appeared in two medical dramas in the 11th hour and in Breaking Point. And she starred a broad revival of The Glass Menagerie opposite Maureen Stapleton, Pat Hangel, and George Grizzard. She did not appear in another feature film until 1976 when she got the role of Margaret Wright for the horror film Carrie, and she earned an Oscar nomination. The commercial success of the film recognition for her performance it helped turn her career all right around. Her co star sees Bosnick praise her acting skills. She's a remarkable actress. She never does what you expect her to do. She always plays you with her approach to a scene. In 1979, she appears Mary Horton in the Australian film. Tim, opposite Mel Gibson, after her 1981 divorce, she moved to California, and she earned her third Oscar nomination for her portrayal as Mrs. Norman in Children of a Lesser God. Same year, she was awarded an Emmy for performance in Promise, a television movie co-starring James Garner and James Woods. And she was featured in an off-Broadway production of Destiny and Me in 1992. She, in return to Broadway for Lancaster Center's acclaimed 2002 revival of Paul Osborne's Mornings at Seven, with Julie Haggerty, Buck Henry, Francis Sternhagen, and Estelle Parsons. In 1990-91, she stars the devious Catherine Martell in David Lynch's TV series Twin Peaks. She also appeared in Other People's Money with Gregory Peck in 91. <laughs> and horror maestro Dario Argento's first American film Trauma in 93. She played George Clooney's character's mother on ER. In 1997, she appeared in the film Christmas Memory with Patty Duke. And in 98, she appeared in the sci-fi thriller The Faculty. She made guest appearances on television shows such as Fraser Malloc, Sam Grace, Will and Grace. She also appeared on Cold Case in the 2001 episode of Law & Order SVU, titled Karen, which she played an adopted mother and foster grandmother who killed one of the foster granddaughters in her daughter's charge who, was abused, who abused her adopted son and foster grandchildren. She returned on the big screen for independent films like Eulogy and The Dead Girl, and opposite actress Tony Collette, and in 2010, she played Reynolds' mother in Hitcher. In 2018, she had a supporting role in White Boy Rick as a grandmother of the title character. Lori, she also was a sculptor who worked in Marvel and Clay. She was Hasty Pokemon Woman of the Year in 1962. And she died at her Los Angeles home just today at the age of 91. She got three nominations for Academy Awards. She won a Golden Glove Award for Best Supporting Actress, Series Made Series Television Film in 1991. And she also won semi several Emmy nominations, including one for playing Magda Goebbels, wife of Joseph Goebbels in The Bunker, 
And for Roland Macy, these are Thorn Birds, two nominations for her work in Twin Peaks. It's Kevin Martell, a nomination for her guest appearance on Frasier. And she really had everything work out for her. She played Aunt L also in the 1985 We Return to Oz. And Gina Ettinger in 1989's Dream a Little Dream with Corey Haim and Corey Feldman. And television, her last television role was in an audio drama, Around the Sun. She was not... And she also played Go Toward the Light. And also diagnosed from her the ABCs from her. She was Sarah Ross from in two episodes from ninety five and ninety six. So yeah. She had a lot of roles. She was very talented and she will be missed by all of us. So that's my popular tribute and Frozen Fan Force 101. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you later for more videos. Until then, enjoy your weekend.